Hey what is going on everyone this is Wicked and welcome to the third episode of top 5 Wicked stuff. Today I will make a compilation of top 5 custom ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus and before we get cracking I would like to mention a little disclaimer. The following standing is based on my personal opinion, on how I feel about the ROMs I will be mentioning, how impressed I was after I tested them and so on and so forth. If you won't like the standing then it's your opinion, I respect it and there's no need to throw hate in the comment section. By the way you can comment which one and why is your preferred one down there so me and my wicked subscribers will see it. this video will only contain the compilation impressions and some information about the roms if you want to see the full review make sure to check out the card section for every rom that you will like anyways enough with the talking let's get wicked this time i will start with the number fifth which is occupied by bad stock rom being the last one in my ranking doesn't necessarily mean it's bad or that you shouldn't ever try to or look at it it's just how i feel about it the rom is stable and it is for those people who want the closest approach ever to the stock firmware but still want to have a custom rom running on their device stability is the key to this rom no customization options no rom control app it's fully odex just like the stock firmware for better speed and smoother user interface of of course, like all the custom ROMs, it can be easily debloated in Aroma, so if you want a stock firmware with no bloatware, root, and the basic functionality, then this ROM is for you. Also, make sure to check the full review in the cards above, so that you'll make a stronger impression about it. Moving on to the fourth place, and the award for this one goes to King ROM. I was really skeptical about King ROM at the beginning, when I firstly reviewed it. It simply had tons of bugs, but the latest version completely changed my perspective. This ROM benefits of its own ROM control app, and has a decent amount of status bar customization options. Not so many though. Let's say it has the minimum amount of them. The ROM feels and behaves stable, it is not completely bug free as I stated in my latest video which I will place in the card above, but they can be fixed easily by the user. It is running a stock kernel so battery life should be great and also the performance in games and overall usability was proven to be really good during my testings. So why does it come onto this fourth place? Well, because I'm a huge fan of customization options and having these along with the other features and mods will place it exactly where it is right now. A ROM worth trying. We've come to the bronze medal, the third place and the ROM which absolutely caught my attention from being the most customizable ROM I have ever tested on the Galaxy S8, Batman ROM. The amount of customization options this ROM has is absolutely insane. Along with all the mods, features, tweaks and theming options, it's pure heaven for a customization addict like myself. The most entertaining graphic tweak was the ability to set an animation in the status bar drop down. That little bird was so funny and I can't get enough of it. Of course, with this amount of tweaking and theming bugs may appear, but I'm sure they will be easily fixed in the future. The only drawback was that benchmark wise it managed to get a pretty bad score. That's why overall Batman ROM gets the bronze medal. On to the second place, here is a ROM which I've been using for more than 3 years on my Galaxy S4 without a miss. Coming from a veteran, a great developer, indie, second place goes to Omega ROM. Omega ROM's been along us for a long time, starting from the Galaxy S2 and got better and better by every release. This ROM is for those people who want perfectly working mods and tweaks, all of them from a rock stable platform and a rock stable kern. Of course, not everything is great at the beginning, but I am sure everything is going to get rock stable as the latest releases. Battery life is reported to be exceptional with Omega kernel and also I need to mention that Omega 3.1 is currently the champion of Antutu benchmark on my wall of speed and that's something. The ROM doesn't have a custom system user interface which can be modified through a ROM control app but Dev says it will be in the future and I'm really looking forward to it. I had people telling me that Omega ROM is working flawlessly, I couldn't detect any problems with it and that's why I will give it a strong second place. Now we've come to an end and I reckon all of you already know which is the champion of this standing. The one which will get the gold medal, the one which I'm currently using right now as a daily driver, the one on which I transformed the Samsung's whitish user interface into a complete dark one helped by the amount of customization options offered by Rice app. The number one ROM on my list is without any doubt Renovate Ice ROM. Why? Because I feel that this ROM fits me the best, at least for now. It is absolutely blazing fast, I couldn't find any issues and if I did find they've been fixed in a nightly release and yes they have nightly releases available. The customization options they offer are simply exactly what I would possibly ever need. Not too many, 
just the right amount of them. Status bar, theming options and everything is exactly where it should be. Performance wise, the ROM comes with their own kernel which was currently overpassed by the Omega one in order to benchmark with a small difference though. For me, this ROM is clearly the best all rounder out there. I know all of you guys ask me what is the best ROM which has the best performance and great battery and is smooth and so on and so forth. Every single ROM has its own ups and downs. You can't really get close to a perfect one. But if you'd let me choose, Renovate Eyes will be close to perfection. Anyways, that was the episode for today. I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up button and subscribe right on my channel. Don't forget to write down your favorite ROM and check the description for all the links to the ROMs I listed into the standings. As always, thank you for watching. Take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.